Hello everyone. It's been a minute since I made a video. So what I'm going to do today is um, the little folders that were in um, the mini pocket letters. I had a request to show how we made the little folders. So I thought I'd make a video about it today. So I've kind of got some samples over here. So basically you're going to start with a six by five piece of paper and you're going to score it on the six inch side. You're going to score it at a half an inch and five and a half. And you're going to score it down the middle. And then you're going to turn it on this side and you're going to score it at an inch and a half. This line here, if you can see it on video, was a mistake. So I did it on all my samples. <laughs> so basically, again, you're going to do on the six inch side, you're going to score it at a half inch on in each end and then down the middle. And you're going to turn it on the short side and you're going to score on the right side. Actually, it wouldn't matter which side you did it on. Um, inch and a half. And then the next little sample shows you where you're going to fold all those in on the inch and a half, or I'm sorry, the half inches are in. And then here is your half inch. But you're going to cut this part of the corners out here. You're going to do it at angle and down. And over here, same thing. You're going to do angle and down. And then once you do that, you're going to fold it this way and turn it. And from where this score line is to the point to a little, like any kind of angle, doesn't matter. You're going to cut that because that's going to turn it into this. So when you open it up and do your pocket, you got a little lips on there. Sorry, I'm trying to do this on my phone. I can't see myself. So basically, we'll go back to this. You will cut here to here off, here to here. And if I get it closer, I, I drew black lines on it because you can see here's where the score line is. You just want to angle that corner when you get it. So it'll look like this when you're done. And I also went along and put tape on which side of the flaps because also on here if you notice you're going to cut these and that line is basically when you fold this up where the top of it comes to see that so what will happen is when you get these corners cut out and you got the middle cut out and you got the other side cut out over here when you fold this up you know you got these flaps you want to cut those this flap will go in and get adhesive on that side and fold up. And then this side just gets adhesive on the reverse and folds down. Alrighty, I didn't bring a sample with me. Kind of making this video on the fly. I've been going to do it for a week and just hadn't had time. It basically folds up like this. Something else I kind of wanted to show on here is when I do these props, or I'm sorry, these swaps, um, you know, I end up with some um, flowers and things. If you're watching my videos, you know that I did uh, V&A swaps where you get all the flowers and things. And I also did this mini page swap. And uh, I wanted to start my own kind of little um, ATC cards. Well, I found this online. It's kind of big. It's the Heidi Swap Memory Dex. So I started with my swap, my last swap with V&A is this is everything that I put in my bag to give to people. And then I received four back, but only two of those people gave me their information. So I made a memory decks card for them. And it's on this, and I wrote on the back here what swap it was. And then these next two are people who um, I re got some of theirs and they gave me their info. So on the back back here is their information. But with this swap here, they had um, some beads that were on there. Oh, something just fell off. Um, beads that were on there, so I took them off of the strings and put them on here. Let's see, let's go backwards. I guess I'm going this way. This was the other person's I got, and I thought this was kind of funny if you look. This was the same die set that I used, but I got some of these in return, so that was kind of funny. And then they again had their beads on their string, so I took them off and wire wrapped them and hung them on here. And again, their information is on the back and I put which swap it was. So I just thought I would share that. And then I did a page swap and I had a participant. So this was some of the stuff that was in their bag and their information on the back. So I thought that'd be a little bit of a memory thing. Anyway, hope you guys have a good day. See you on the next one.